One of the questions I get asked all the time on JoeColantoni.com is, do I know of any public APIs that someone can use to help them learn REST API testing? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a local copy of WordPress with the REST add-on so we could then use to help us learn how to test REST APIs against it. Check it out. <laughs> So first, we're going to navigate to microsoft.com slash web slash WordPress, and then click on the Install WordPress button. Next, click the Install Now. This is going to download a WordPress.exe. Open up that WordPress.exe once it's downloaded, and just double-click on the WordPress.exe. Click Run. Next, click on the Install button on the Web Platform Installer window. Because I already have MySQL installed, it doesn't show up in this prerequisite window, but if I didn't have MySQL, you'd also would have MySQL listed here. Basically, this would then download both WordPress and MySQL and install it. But because I already have MySQL, I just need to download and install WordPress. So I'm going to click on I accept. For the configuration piece, I'm just going to leave this as is and click on continue. Then I'm going to click on finish. The web matrix software is going to come up and it's going to bring up the rest of the installer piece for WordPress where we can just specify some WordPress specific installation information. I'm just going to name mine REST API example demo. My username and password. Uncheck the allow search engine to index this site. Enter in your email address, and then click on Install WordPress. So you should now have a success page. Awesome. Now click on Login, and just use the same username and password that you just set up. So once you log in, we now need to install a WordPress add-on that's going to allow us to interact with WordPress using a REST API. So to do that, click on Plugins, and then click Add New, and type in WP REST, click on the Install Now button next to the WP REST API, and then click on Activate Plugin. Also, in order for this to work, you need to make one more setting change. You just need to go under your Settings section, Permalinks, and under Permalinks, make sure you select anything other than default. So I'm going to select Post Name, and then select Save Changes. So now we can start testing our WordPress instance using REST API calls. And so a quick way to test this is to open up Chrome and then go to the Chrome Store. And in the Chrome Store, just type in REST Console. I already have REST Console installed. If you do not have it installed, just click on the Install button. If it is installed, you'll have an option to launch app. So I'm going to launch the app. So underneath the Request section, I'm just going to add the path to my WordPress install followed by wp-json slash post slash one. So this is going to make a request to grab the very first post within WordPress. And if we click on send, if we look at the response back from WordPress, notice it returns some JSON back to us. And within that JSON, notice it does contain the information for our first post. If you see this, that means that your WordPress install with that WP REST API add-in is working. So you're good to go. Hope it helps.